Everybody got a new pitch in the game for Ole Miss. This is a BKD call of the bullpen. Do your business need financial advice? Call one of the CPA professionals at BKD at 601-948-6700 or go to BKD.com. The new pitcher, Dylan Chavez. Here's his pitch, and it misses low for ball one, and we've got a pinch hitter for the Crimson Tide as well. A.J. Cole, a freshman right-handed hitter from Huntsville, Alabama, batting against the left-handed pitcher, so Mitch Gaspard counters with Cole. Runner at second base, one out, tied 4-4 here in the bottom of the sixth. And the pitch. Fastball, low ball two, 2-0. Two Dylan's been really good all season long. Good hard fastball, 90, 92 mile an hour, and a fantastic slider. Devastating at times. Tough for right-handed hitters, tend to swing over the top of it. 1-0 with a 2.70 earned run average. There's a strike, and a count 2-1 to A.J. Cole. A.J. Cole has not gotten a hit this year. He's 0 for 9. He's played in seven games, started three. So getting a chance to swing it here against a left-handed pitcher. Well, Andrew Miller, who he's pinch hitting for, had a tough night. 0 for 2, two strikeouts, and not looking good in either one of those two at-bats. Swung on, popped him up on the infield. There you go. Stoney calling for it, comes to the mound, backs up, makes the catch. Nice play by Andrew. Runner holds at second base. So a big out there, two down with the runner second for James Tullidge, or we're gonna have a, we'll That's have a pinch, pinch hitter for him, too. That's going to be Kenny Roberts. Kenny Roberts is a junior from Meridian, Mississippi, played at Meridian Community College. We'll bat here for the Crimson Tide. R-O-B-E-R-T-S, Roberts. Batting for the second baseman, Tullidge. Who struck out twice as well. First pitch hits the inside corner for strike one. Roberts had started 20 of the 21 games going into the night, so he's been an everyday player for him. But struggling at the plate, 208 hitter coming into the ninth. Does have a home run, 10 RBIs on the year. Pitch to Roberts. Inside, hit him in the foot. Well, this will put runners at first and second base. Booth was on the move when the ball got away. So first and second, two down, top of the order, Taylor Duga. So first and second, two down. The bad thing is you didn't want to get to this guy. That's exactly right. Taylor Duga, two for three. It is lefty on lefty, but Taylor's proven he can hit anybody. Here's the pitch. Just missed outside. Close borderline pitch there for ball one. One ball, no strikes. Bama has scored two runs here in the sixth to tie the game at 4-4. Go ahead, run at second base. Another base runner at first. As Booth at second base, Roberts at first. Two outs, 1 0 to Taylor Duga. So a 2 0 count to Duga. Two runs in, two outs, two men aboard. Deuces wild with a 2 0 count to Duga. Chavez kicks, fires the pitch. High chopper up middle. Got a big bounce, and Yarbrough snagged it. Looks the runner at third back, and that will pre prevent a run from scoring on a great play by Alex Yarbrough. He had no one to throw it to to get an out, but boy, he really did quickly eyeball Brett Booth, because if Booth was headed to the plate, Yarbrough was going to gun him down. Yeah, there, there was, from the time that ball left the bat, there was no way we were going to throw anybody out. It was just whether it was going to take a big enough kick that was going to get by Alex Yarbrough in the center. Nice job by Alex. Good angle. Kept that ball in the infield, and new guy gets his third infield hit of the night. And here's Hunter Gregory. Gregory, the left fielder, laid down a sack bunt in the first, reached on an air in the third, popped out trying to lay down a bunt in the fifth. Lefty on lefty here. And a pitch. And that one drifts in for a strike one. Will Allen appeared to be further outside, and he came back in over the middle of the plate, but Gregory took it for the strike, didn't go after that one. Rebel's certainly looking for a bunt here. Matt Snyder way in at first. And Stoney way in at third. Here's the pitch. Ground ball toward the shortstop. Glove there. He'll toss to Yarbrough as Anderson makes the play, and that will end the inning. As Gregory hits into the fielder's choice, you can score it six to four on Duga at second base. Yeah. Yeah. David Kellum, Keith Kessinger with you again as we work our way to the bottom of the seventh inning. And Ole Miss with a huge top half. Scored seven in the seventh. 
And the left-hander Dylan Chavez will face Reeves, Rosecrans, and Moore here in the bottom of the seventh. First pitch high for ball one. Will Jamison, we do believe, is in right field. High ball two, two and oh. It is Will Jamison. Two balls, no strikes. Everything else appears to be the same as Chavez's 2-0 pitch. High ball three, three and oh. Jamison will be batting in the eight hole. And the 3 out. That's a strike. 3 and 1 is Reeves obviously taking it all the way when you're down now 11 to 4 by 7 runs. Still in a position to get the win tonight. Here's the pitch. Strike 2 right at the knees. Reeves was headed toward first. Thought he had ball 4. Hey, SEC baseball scoreboard updates are brought to you by our friends at ENT Consultants. Dr. Sport died. John Lorenzo, as this one's fouled away. And Pearson Wyndham. ENT Consultants of North Mississippi. And Keith was looking at the scoreboard early. He gave us that news earlier that Tennessee in Knoxville beat Kentucky. Gave Kentucky their first loss of the year to drop the Cats to 22-1. and one. They won 4-1. to one. That one's hit right back up the middle of base hit on a full count pitch. And Reeves is 2-4 for four in the game. Gets the single there. That's the ninth hit for the Crimson Tide. They're back playing in Nashville after a rain delay. Georgia and Vanderbilt. Georgia still got the only one of the game. A, run, a single run in the fourth. They lead Vanderbilt one to nothing. Vanderbilt batting in the bottom of the sixth inning. Mississippi State having quite a Friday night against Arkansas. They are now leading the Razorback 11-2. That Goodness one's in the bottom gracious. of the seventh in Starkville. That was Baxendale? That was D.J. Baxendale tonight. Arkansas. Pitch high and away, ball one. And Baxendale went three innings tonight. Nine hits, eight runs, seven of them earned. Gave up two home runs in three innings. Wow. State playing with some younger kids, too, with... Some injuries on that team. They got after the Razorbacks. One on, no outs here. One of the count to the DH, Josh Rosecrans, who's one for three in the game. Takes that one inside for ball two. He was in the dugout a long time that inning. He had gone out in the middle of a rally by Alabama emotionally. He did a great job, came in and set for a long time. That can be difficult on a pitcher. The two of Inside, ball three, three and up. LSU and Auburn, after a rain delay at the beginning of the game tonight, they are in the bottom of the sixth inning. They're all tied at two. That one at Auburn. And Florida continues to lead South Carolina. They're in the bottom of the sixth as well. Seven to one, Florida. There's a strike as he's taking all the way. That was close, though. Three balls, one strike to Rosecrans. And I believe that is it. That is it. Good job. And, of course, here the Rebels leading 11-4, to four, bottom of the seventh, the pitch. Ground ball left side. Anderson bobbles it, picks it up, will throw to first base. Not in time. That's an error on Anderson, and it was really a double play ball. It was hit sharply, but an error on the Rebel short side. It looked like the last top came a little bit on Austin. Might have waited back on that one. The Rebel infield has been very aggressive this year, getting good hops. Looked like that time... Might have laid back a little bit. Ball did come up, kicked away. I still think if he picks it up and makes a good throw to first, he gets Rosecrans at first, but that throw pulled Matt Snyder off the bag, and that'll go as an error for Austin. His second of the game. Rebels committed two, both belong to the shortstop. So Alabama's got something going. First and second, no outs for Ben Moore, the catcher. Walk, pop out, and RBI single for him. He bunts it third base side. Mastoni charges, gloves, throws to first for the out. Or threw a dart on the run, didn't he? He threw it right from the left side of the mound, third base side of the mound. That will move the runners up, but you're not really moving the runners up. You're trying to get a base hit there. That should just be an out. Yeah, he's definitely going for a hit right there. Nice job by Andrew Mastone. He's able to get kind of last big hop on that bunt, catch it, throw it on the run. Matt Snyder kind of had to hang in there a little bit at first base with the throw. We'll take the out right there for sure and trade up a couple of runners in, on the bases. Just needed an out. Austin Smith, the batter, takes the strike on the inside corner. He is one for two with a double walk and a strikeout. So our SEC scoreboard updates brought to you by ENT Consultants of North Mississippi, proudly serving patients in their Oxford Grenade and Cleveland Clinics. We'll check all the scores again in our postgame show. 0-1 to Smith. Drops that one in for strike two. This time, Chavez gets ahead. 
final in overtime, too, in the NCAA. North Carolina's leading Ohio at the half, 29-22. Got outscored 41-34 to in the second half. Outscored Ohio in OT, 10-2 to, to win, 73-65. Wow. 73-65, Tar Heels. Swing and a miss, took something off that and strikes out Austin Smith. Second out of the inning. First strikeout for Dylan Chavez. We said when he came, well, when Dylan came in the game, that slider to right-handed hitters, they swing over the top of it all the time. There it was again. Starts middle of the plate, right-handed swings right over the top. Big pitch, big out. Well, any kind of out gets us out of the inning without any damage. Brett Booth, the third baseman, takes this one away for ball one. He's one for three with an RBI single in the sixth. It was almost a real Cinderella in the NCAA tournament, mm -hmm. huh? Mm -hmm. Come back. Almost came back and won that thing. Congratulations to the Baylor Bears. They beat Xavier 75-70 to advance as well. Fouled off of the plate to count one and one. Indiana, Kentucky should be tipping off here any moment. In about eight and a half minutes or so, they're telling us North Carolina State and Kansas will get underway as well. They're telling you that? They're telling you that? They're telling me that right yeah, there on that I didn't realize you were that high up. You're getting phone calls? I'm getting stuff. phone calls from uh, nice. CBS <laughs> or <laughs> TBS or True TV I'm or whatever standing. Whatever they're showing those things. I want to get on that list. I want to be told. I want to be when they're telling us. <laughs> Will Allen runs to the mound, runs back to the plate. The 1-1 one, one to boot. Ground ball right side. That's through for a base hit. The right fielder, Jamison, will throw toward the plate. It's cut off by Snyder, so they'll only get one run. Reeves will score. Booth gets an RBI single, his second RBI of the game, 16 on the year. Rosecrans moves to third, so first and third, two down. Alabama cuts it to 11 to five. It was a good piece of hitting by Booth right there. Didn't try to do too much, just took the ball through the right side. Got the breaking ball away. That one's up a little bit. Well, Jamison comes in hard, throws through the cut exactly like you want to see him do, and because of the game score, that's one usually you see the guy send with two outs, but just can't get anybody thrown out of home down by six runs. So first and third, two down. This is Baxter, swings and misses for strike one. Came in defensively to play right field after Cole pinch hit for Miller in the sixth inning. Baxter hitting 179, no homers, three RBIs. Takes that one low for a ball. One ball, one strike. Well, they got a lot of guys hitting under 200 this late in the year. I mean, I know some of these guys hadn't played a lot, but keep looking up at the scoreboard and seeing just poor batting averages. And this is a good night. Ten hits for them in mm -hmm. this game. Runner at third, runner at first, two outs, 1-1 one, one to Baxter. And the pitch. Foul back for strike two. One ball, two strikes. Ole Miss leading 11-5. to five. Bottom of the seventh. Well, Alabama got the first two on. Looked like they had a chance, really keep, and maybe throw a big number up there and climb back in the game. Now, if Chavez can get uh, Baxter here, you minimize the inning. Yes! Yes! Chavez kicks, delivers. Breaking ball, dropped it in there for a call. Strike three. What a free pitch. Started basically a backdoor breaking ball right there. Started just off the plate. Breaks it. Behind home plate or right around home plate. Outstanding job on that pitch. Not too much damage. 11 to 5. We'll take it. Gives up a run. It's unearned. One run on two hits, one error, two men left. After seven, Ole Miss 11, Alabama 5. Rebels will bat in the top half of the eighth. As you'll have Anderson, Yarbrough, and Snyder coming up after this local break. You're listening to Ole Miss Baseball. <laughs> 